Alrighty, here we go. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Paramount Paving. When it comes to paving, they are Paramount. Give them a call for a free estimate today. All right, let's get things rolling. Winter weather advisory is the main alert in effect right now. This year dropped at around 10 a.m. That small craft advisory. We're done with that. So now that winter weather advisory is up until about 6 a.m. as we head towards your Thursday. And for now, though, wave heights are still a little active out there in a few spots at around three to six feet. Notice some calmer waters out there, so we might start seeing things calming down for us as well as not much wind is expected with this latest system that will be moving in. We've had a few returns on the radar this morning, so any precipitation that did fall is mainly a teaser at this point. We're going to be watching for more active weather later this afternoon, the evening time frame, and wintry mix on the way that will make travel tricky from time to time. We're seeing it right here with this warm front right about in here and some lighting with this as well as with this system. And it's all tracking from the west to the east, even some ice in Canada and lightning with it. So pretty dynamic system developing. We'll have to keep an eye on that as it does develop. So future counts moving forward, watching for that wintry mix moving in during the afternoon period. A lot of ice potential here, so please be careful if you do have to travel today and also in the parts of tonight. We'll catch a break as we head towards Thursday morning, which will allow that salt to do what it needs to do. Then temperatures rise, the normal rain during the afternoon period for your Thursday into the overnight hours. And then for your Friday, look at this. Things start to calm down. Maybe a few passing clouds to start things off for your Friday. Otherwise, a good amount of sunshine. As for snowfall, mainly around one to three inches in a few spots before we're all finished up. Nothing too meaningful there. A lot of that snow will be in the northern ends of the state. Down south, it'll mainly be rain and maybe freezing rain and sleet in a few spots too. As for that ice potential, it looks a little bit like this. Maybe a tenth to two tenths of an inch of ice in some spots before we're all finished up. Further to the north, there's a potential for it to be just a little bit higher. So either way though, if we get towards the central and northern parts of the state near the Millinocket area, they'll need to be watchful to see how much ice that they could receive. But otherwise though, if you know anyone across parts of the Midwest, like near Cincinnati, Chicago, St. Louis and such. Make sure that they're aware of the severe weather threat for today where large hail damaging winds and tornadoes could occur in these areas. So we're okay, but definitely make sure to give someone a call if you know anyone in that area to make sure they're paying attention to the weather. Mid-30s today, rain freezing, rain sleet and snow. North wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, here we go, 30 degrees, rain freezing, rain sleet and snow again. East wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, lower 50s. I'll feel nice. That wintry mix switching over to rain showers. South wind at about 5 miles per hour. Hour. Paramount paving extended forecast. So party cloudy on Good Friday, highs in the upper 40s. Lots of sunshine on Saturday, highs in the lower 40s. Easter Sunday looking great as well. Lots of sunshine, highs in the lower 50s.